As all right, boy, let's do this. So, what the hell do we do new today? Um, we talked about the fact that we're tuned in fourths, E to A, A to D, D to G, but that G and B are the exception. This is a major third. That's why it sounds pretty. And then B to E again is another fourth. So, in consequence, there's something called a B shift, which means any pattern you've established is going to shift up one fret when you get to the B string because it's tuned half a step lower than all the others. So E, the tonic, A. When you get to D, the final note lands on the third fret instead of the second fret. And then for the G scale, you hit the B string pretty quickly, so shift your whole hand up to the third fret. Same principle, excuse me, same principle applies to the minor, of course. E minor, which you've practiced, A minor. Now it's going to be open three, open two, one three for D minor. And then for G, there's only one open string, the very first note. Okay, we talked about playing a, a 12 bar blues in A. So now A, the fifth and the fourth strings, would be your tonic chord, your one. So it's one, four, D. Back to one. And then eventually you get to the last line. I'm skipping the middle line. It's going to E, which is your five, then shift all the way to D. Same turnaround, but it's on the D string now. Open one, two. So you have your last A. And then you start over. We also talked about playing a three note sort of um, jazz blues. So you can get your one chord like this. First finger, fifth fret, low E string. Same fret, D string. That's your seventh. That's a one and a seven. Then you add the high major third here with your ring finger at the sixth fret of the G string. You skip the A string, so you just pluck these individually. And that gets like a Freddie King kind of jazz blues sounding dominant seventh. And you can... Not Freddie King. Who the hell am I talking about? Freddie somebody. Um, you can slide into it chromatically for that kind of jazz blues sound. But really it's kind of like a quarter note thing. And you can move this anywhere you want to. In fact... Um, Superstition, the chorus is a, you know. Actually, you should try this whole riff, it's fun. It's all at the fifth and seventh frets. And then the open E because it's in the key of E. But then the chorus is cool because it just goes B7, so that shape at the 7th fret. Even things to see. Back to B that you don't understand. B flat. And you suffer. And then it goes back up to B to 5. Superstition ain't the way. Let's do the chorus again. If you believe. That you don't understand and you suffer. Superstition. You get the idea. But back to A, to get the four chord, you shift to the fifth string and you play five, four, five. And in terms of the voicing, that's a root, a third, and a flat seven. So you can practice. Once you add the four chord, you can move up a whole step to E7, the five. And then on the way back down, you can do the chromatic passing chord. And now you can do a 12 bar in, um, with jazz blues, like a... That transition will take you a little bit of time to get the one to four. I'm skipping to the last line again. Five. Flat five, four. And then one. At the very end, you can try to go... So you can try to take your D7 and slide it chromatically. OK? 
okay? Now we talked about a bunch of open chords, basic open chords. E minor, E major as the first finger to the third string. Shift it all down, gives you A minor. Add your pinky to the second string, that's A major. D is a little thorny, it's really kind of dense. It's one, no, it's two, three, two. And your root's on the D string now. Leave your ring finger down, add the pinky, shift all this up, now you get G. Shift those two fingers down, leave the low E string out, and you get C add nine. Real poppy kind of sound with G is C add nine. Then move the whole structure down and pop the ring finger up and you get B7. All these are fun to separate the root and then do like a root quarter note root chord pattern. But this one's particularly fun because you can shift your second finger up to get the low uh, fifth. You can get like your fake country guy sound. So that's the chord cycle. I wrote those chords out. And then we digress for a moment on D because it has the nice variation. So D, if you add your pinky, it's a suspended fourth. And then take the second finger off and it's a suspended second or what we said is sus2. So, of course, that's free falling. It's not exactly how you play it, but it conveys the song. Let me look at my notes here. E cycle, D sus, scales. Okay, the only other thing that we covered was this. We took your diatonic series in A, and you were playing one, minor, three minor, and we added four and five major, so seven, 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 and nine, nine, nine. So now you have five notes of a chord scale. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, brother. Have fun.